Now, <clears throat> boy, now then, this is Gloria Harlow Drummond. This is June the 19th, 2015. The time is 20 after 8 p.m. We've been having rain and rain and rain and rain and some flooding and some flooding. Um, so anyway, I'm on, still on my mini. I mean, on my, I'm on my, uh, my tablet. God bless you. Welcome to my channel. You're always welcome to my channel. And I have a, a good message for tonight. Have a good message for tonight. It all started um, out where uh, Brother Ramsey had put a, a, a message on on Facebook. And so anyway, um, I read I read it. I was getting ready to copy it down. I was getting ready to copy it. And it seemed like the Lord said, No, I want you to read it strictly from my word. So that's what I did. I got the Bible out. I read it word for word out of the Bible, and I wrote it. I wrote it down. Um, Ramsey's uh, his wasn't exactly. I don't know if he's got the King James version of the whatever it's called, where it's worded a little differently. It, it meant this, it was the very same thing, but he wanted me to read it from the actual Bible. And that's what I did this afternoon. I told my daughter, I said, yeah, I only had a couple words written. It seemed like something spoke to me and said, no, read from my word. So that's what I did. Praise the Lord. So here we go. Okay, we're going to read um, John chapter 8, verses 34 through, 40, through 47. Okay? So get your Bible. And if you have to pause me, you can pause me. But it's chapter, John chapter 8, uh, verses 34 through 47. So, okay, here we go. Here we go. And I'll sit, let's sit a little bit sideways. I like to sit sideways. I don't know why, I just, I just do. Okay, here we go. Jesus answered them, Jesus answered them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Whosoever committeth sin is the servant of sin. And that's in reference to Romans 6, 16, 2 Peter 2:19. Okay, 35. And the servant, the servant abideth not in the house forever, but the son abideth, the son abideth ever. 36. Yet the son therefore shall make you free; ye shall be, you shall be free indeed. And that's in reference to Rom, uh, Romans chapter 8 verse 2, Galatians chapter 5 verse 1. All righty, 37. I know that ye are Abraham's seed, but ye seek to kill me, <clears throat> because my word hath no place in you. It means you do not accept. Do not accept. 38. I speak that which I have seen with my father, and ye do not, and ye do that ye have seen with your with your father. Okay, that's in reference to 3, 32, 5, 19, and 30, and 14 and 10. 39. They answered and said unto him, Abraham is our father. Jesus saith unto them, If ye were Abraham's children, ye would do the works of Abraham. In reference to Romans 2.28. In Romans 2.28. Alrighty. 40. But now ye seek to kill me, a man that hath told you the truth, which I have heard of God. Which I have heard of God. Okay. This did not... This did not Abraham. 41. Ye do the deeds of your father. Then said they to him, We be not born of fornication. We have one father, even God. 42. Jesus said unto them, If God were your father, ye would love me, for I proceeded forth and came from God. Neither came I of myself, but he who sent me. In reference to 1 John 5, 1, Okay, 43. Why do ye not understand my speech, even because ye cannot hear my word? My word um, means, 717 means understand my message. 44. Ye are of your father, the devil, and the lust of your father. Ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth, because the, the, there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own. For he is a liar, and the father of it. 1 John 3.18. Jude 6. Okay. 
45, and because I tell you the truth, ye believe me not. All right, 46. Which of you convinceth me of sin? And if I say the truth, why do ye not believe me? 47. He that is of God heareth God's word. Ye therefore hear them not, because ye are not of God. That's in reference to 10.26. Uh, 10, 1 John 4.6. Okay, that's, that's the message. And also I, need, I want to talk to you about something else. I watched Pilgrim's video this afternoon. And... Um, it was, it, it's called, um, uh, if I can read my own writing, sacred, it's the sacred name movement, which is not true. They, they take the letter J out of Jesus' uh, name, and it's a foul, it's a fallacy, wickedness. It's not, it's not the truth. It's not the truth. So I just wanted to, war to warn everybody about that, too, and I also messaged Nikki and I told Nikki so she'll probably do a video on that I'm sure she's probably she's heard of it so if, if, if you if because it's very easily for them to suck you in because they use the messian the, the messianic uh, Jew, you know Jew, um, Jewish some of their beliefs and um, this other belief and they mix it together and they get they're very, they're very it's very convincing another false doctrine false teachers so it's the sacred home sacred name movement all right so I wanted to tell you about that too and also um, God hears the hearts of men God knows our hearts he knows our hearts and that's in Ephesians 2 chapter 2 verse 8 and everything so but I wanted to read I want to read you this message tonight um, <clears throat> I thought that was pretty powerful. I thought that was a pretty good message. And that was really strange. That was really strange, though, how and my daughter came out in the kitchen and she said, Ramsey put a really good one on there. I said, oh, he did? And she said, yeah. And she read it. I said, okay, cool. Then I'll, I'll copy it down and I'll, I'll, I'll do it, you know, put, put my spin on it. And I, got, I had the paper and everything ready to write. And I, I had a couple of words written down. And it seemed like the Lord said, read it from the Bible, read it from my word. And even though it was the same thing, just worded a couple of di couple of words, you know, difference in it, but he wanted me to read it out of the Bible. So that's what I did. Praise the Lord. I obeyed. You obey the, if you feel it's a, a, like speaking to a, a little voice like, it's, you, you'll know if it's, it's a, if it's of the Lord, you know. Like he was saying to me, Gloria, read it out of the Bible, out, out of my holy word. So you obey. You obey. It's, it's like a feeling you get. It's a feeling you get. And it, like I said, it's hard to explain it. It's hard to explain it. But <clears throat> that's the way it is. So anyway, um, I was going to sing a song. I haven't sang a song for a couple of days. And there's a lot of songs just kind of just running together. I can't really think. Boy, this, that sky is really awesome out there. We had a bunch of rain. The sun came out and it's got like a pinkish, it's really awesome. It's like a pinkish color. It's something. <clears throat> but anyway, we're seeing all kinds of different things. You know, I always say keep our eyes to the sky. Keep our eyes to the sky. <clears throat> and, uh, but anyway, um, how about, I surrender all, I surrender all, all to Thee, my blessed Savior, I surrender all. I surrender all, I surrender all, all to Thee, my blessed Savior, I surrender all.
Yes. Yeah. Give it all to God. Just surrender yourself. Surrender everything to the Lord. I had a couple other songs I was going to do, but that one just came right to me. I surrender all. He talks with me. And he walks with me, and he talks with me, and he tells me I am his own, and the joy we share as we tarry there, none other has ever known. He speaks and the sound of his voice is so sweet the birds hush their singing and the melody that he gave to me <clears throat> within my heart is ringing and he walks with me and he talks with me and he tells me I am his own and the joy we share as we tarry there. None other has ever known. I love that song. You know, it's something how when you when you let the Lord lead completely, let Him take the wheel. Like that one song, Jesus Take the Wheel, uh, Carrie Underwood, I think. But yeah, when you let the Lord lead, turn it over to Him. He'll show you what to say, what to do, what to do. He always does me. He's never let me down. He's never, ever let me down. So anyway, I hope that you um, liked the message that I, I did tonight. And I love you all. Jesus loves you. And you know he he's there, he's there. And so I'm gonna have to go. It's it's, it's almost 13 minutes, and, and and as you know, this tablet takes a long time to upload. I don't know. It could take up to two hours to upload. I last night was a little bit faster, but I see it's already 8:30 now. So this may be be my only video tonight. I don't know until I get my mini worked on. No, I haven't taken it up there yet. I haven't been able to. All the rain and and flooded streets and everything. So. Alrighty, well, God bless you. Welcome to my channel. You're always welcome to my channel. Come back and see me. So on that note, thumbs up, eyes to the sky. Watch for the signs and the wonders in, in the heavens. So, again, I love you. God bless you. So I'm going to go for now, people. Alrighty, this is Gloria Harlow Drummond. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Okay? Alrighty. Bye-bye. Okay, Bye for now. Bye-bye.